The number one question is, should I buy a Riot or should I buy an Arrow? Am I a Riot rider? Am I an Arrow rider? And really, you know, it doesn't come down to necessarily snow depth or snow pack or does it go in the powder? Because yes, totally powder capable, flatland capable, it's a blast everywhere. It's about rider style. Um, this is dirt bike. This is moving around on the bike. You lean back, it comes up, you lean forward. The front's down just like a just like a tire. It feels short like a dirt bike. It revs and spools hard. So really, if your personality is that you're a dirt biker and you have to jib off everything, hit every lip, you want to play in the flats, you want to play in the mountains, you're a riot rider. If you want the most plush, the most confidence inspiring, hold the line, deep days, steep hills, back country, just explore without using a lot of effort, you're an arrow rider. One of the big differences too is this track length. So the, the Riot's a, a 120 track. That's the, the shortest model. Um, and it's the most playful model because of it too. Um, so that was the whole point of Riot was to give it more athletic ability uh, in its handling. Um, and on the, the Arrow, uh, Arrow 129 and 137, those are, are longer tracks. And of course they're gonna get more traction on the deep days and they're gonna climb steeper hills. But the, the Riot will go anywhere and the, the Arrow will go anywhere. The, the Arrow will go anywhere faster. Uh, and the, and the riot will go anywhere a little bit slower. So it's not like you're handicapped riding one or the other. You just get that more flotation on the arrow than you do the riot.